Hello guys, I'm Tido Miner and it's the third and last episode of making a puzzle game in Unity. We have to fix some bugs now and let's start. The first bug is when we click outside of puzzle pieces, we receive these errors. Okay. Uh, open the drag and drop script. No. Uh, here add a background to the game. Mm -hmm. Add it to the game. Set order layer minus two. And okay. And add a box collider to the component for the background. Now uh, we have only one arrow and here add a condition here if selected piece uh, exclamation mark equals null uh, uh, do this uh, it says when selected piece wasn't null, run these lines. Control S and play again. And now we don't have any bug. Mm -hmm. The okay, wait, uh, it's working. Oh. I think we have to do this. Don't know. Yes. Uh, okay. Now uh, we have another problem. Look, we selected this piece and dragging this one, but it's behind the other pieces. Look, and uh, it shouldn't be. Let's fix it. Open uh, for fix this problem. Uh, we have to, um, for example, here this one. This is behind of uh, in other pieces. We have to increase the order in layer. For example, now. It's in front of the others. Okay. Uh, open, drag and drop a script and add an integer, add an integer variable O I L order in layer. Oh yeah. And it equals zero at the start or one. When we selected a puzzle piece uh, uh, set selected piece dot get component uh, sprite renderer sprite renderer this component not a sprite renderer sorting group sorry Sorting a layer. Mm, I think this one. Why we don't have sorting group? Okay. But. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorting layer. That. Uh, order. It's not sorting layer. Mm. Uh huh. Uh, add a library using Unity Engine dot rendering and save the script. Go into the Unity editor and select all of the puzzle pieces and 
in the certain group component set the add click here and click on add certain layer add the certain layer name it pieces and select all of the pieces and set sorting layer to pieces okay get go uh, re return to drag and drop component drag and drop a script and here write sorting group dot or sorting order equals oil order in layer and oil plus plus add the selected piece sorting layer to the uh, order in layer and add one to the order in layer so it have to work now look it's in front of another is uh, puzzle pieces mm -hmm. and yeah and go to the pieces script control s Uh, position true and write get component uh, add the rendering library using unity engine dot rendering mm, sorting group dot order sorting order equals zero control s and it's better to write another condition if in right position what's happened oh, okay if in right position uh, was false do this and now these three line of codes uh, uh, run only one time not every frame go back to editor and play the game Uh, for example, this one and is in front of that. Okay, and ordering layer is zero, but this one is three. Okay, we fixed that problem too. And now I want to make a changing puzzle for the system for the game, like a menu for the uh, first. For the start of the game okay let's uh, create a game object ui image so a canvas created here and set the position to zero zero and set the width to 800 and height to 480 and how black is okay net black or we can give this wood uh, background image to this and we want to yes add a button in the com canvas button here okay uh, no it's too big for example yes this one is good and remove the text mm. okay let's add some let's add another 
puzzles puzzle photos uh, here are these two okay it's good now we want to add these puzzle photos to the game the first button sprite is this one mm, duplicate it mm, set name to puzzle one this one should be puzzle two and this one spongebob and duplicate and it should be 278 here and give this one this image and we have now we have to make another script create C sharp script uh, start or puzzle select and open this script here uh, write uh, using unity engine dot ui and make a um, image or no okay remove these lines this voids and write public void set puzzle puzzles photo and here write uh, for write image not image game object an array game object name it pieces and write a for loop for int i equals zero i if i was less than 36 because we have 36 puzzle pieces and i plus plus and write game object uh, dot find what's this oh okay dot find the name is here piece and the number inside the parentheses okay find piece space open parentheses and plus i plus close parentheses okay control s find it and get component get a sprite renderer and set a sprite equals a sprite equals uh, here in the void add image uh, uh, photo and here it, it equals photo dot a sprite and we don't need this variable only this control s and here give this a script to puzzle to main camera here and select the but pu uh, button the first button sorry okay select the first button and in uh, unclick 
click on this plus and here drag and drop the main camera select the puzzle select here the puzzle set the script and set puzzle photos and the image is itself in itself's image this one drag it in here and do it for the another buttons main camera puzzle select and set puzzle photo and give itself uh, image component and for the last one puzzle select set puzzle photo mm -hmm. and now uh, put these buttons uh, make these buttons sun child of the image the background and name it a start panel and here right and uh, make a variable game object a start panel and make it public public game object a start panel when the puzzle photo puzzles photo change it uh, disable the start panel a start panel the set active files control s and now select the main camera and give the start panel to start panel here and click on play select one of the uh, photos for example the spongebob and oops what's wrong Oh, okay, we did wrong. Mm -hmm. We have to change the puzzle game object sprite, not the piece, not this one. Okay, no problem. Here, dot add between find and get component sprite in the add transform dot find find child yeah find and find child when the difference no problem that find puzzle close parentheses and it have to work now mm -hmm. select okay now we have uh, another puzzle with spongebob photo okay well this tutorial is finished and we made a jigsaw puzzle game in unity and you can publish it for android or you have to uh, improve the puzzle sprites it's not good Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.